I tried to tell my co-worker, they spawning, but they out here deep. I got two keeper cropping. I'm going to sit right here and limit up. I'm not going to have to go to the dam or nothing. Welcome to another episode of Hooked Up Fishing. I'm out here down back side of Lake Houston, Houston, Texas. And we crappie fishing today. I'm gonna try to make not to make too much noise. I'm trying to tell my coworker here in there shallow. He said they spawning. They shallow. Nope. I've been fishing this since I was a kid. And I'm finna kill these crappie here. Gonna drop my anchor. I ain't going nowhere. Got that good. Nice fat crappie. That one 10 inches. About 10 and a quarter. That's one fat cropper. On red and chartreuse. Fried in true color. There's a fat one here. Oh Lord. Fatty. Black and chartreuse. Let me measure him too. I want to stay straight. Another 10 and a quarter inch crappie. I tried to incorporate a swivel here, and I might gave myself more <clears throat> trouble than I did help, but see if I get it a loop. There you go. We're going to run them jokers tandem. That's what I'm doing, so I would like to educate all my listeners. I make my own leader here. I put a swivel on this braid, and uh, I'm running. Some look like a little beetle, you know, one in chartreuse and one chartreuse in red and one is chartreuse in black. And uh, I'm going to see if I can sit out here and hammer these fish real quick. We uh, hooked up fishing. The Lake Houston edition. Crappie fishing here. I tried to tell my coworker this fish was not shallow. I'm sitting in 10 foot of water. He kept saying they shallow, they spawning. I don't know what that boat is there. All that noise. But that's old Mark that told me about the pond. He, first time out in this Hobie Pro Angle, 14. He went and got him a bunch of minnows. And I told him. If we get on these jigs and see what damage they'll do, I might just leave the middle alone. Let me, let me drop my anchor. Stay right here where I'm at. I'm supposed to be running today, but I don't think that water's running. Huh? One of them what? 
two jigs just tied on the line. I'll show you. Give me, give me your line. I'll rig it up for you. I'll, I'll make them up as I go. You ain't got no extra? Not made up. I'll, I'll make them up right quick. You got spare line? Or take some off your reel? Whichever one you're going to throw. That new one you got? Get us a little time, but how much? How deep is it here? It's 11, 12. I'm marking fish though. Hmm? Not right there. Back up where I'm at. Cause I'm gonna throw right where you at and come back. Just come right. Just make a circle. I'm going to throw back this way. You can get out, out there either way. Come around. We're going to both fish parallel this way. You got green and black and red and black? What? Red and green and black and green jig. Come over here where I'll set it up for you. Just give me your line. They're going to take me about a minute to set it up for you. Red and green, black and green. I'll try white later, but you don't have them. I'm going to go in here and see if I've got them in here. You got jig head? Yeah, all you need is 16, 30 seconds. Or 16th and yeah, 16th and 37th. Just come alongside me here. Just over here. Set yours up for handing your line. Once you set up, you shouldn't have to worry about it no more. They both keep it? Yeah. Both of them was 10, 10, like 10 and 3 quarters, 1, 10 and a half. I know these fish. Oh, okay. I'm right here. I'm alright. Still marking some fish. I had, boom, a couple of bumps, boom, I lost my Shit. Next time when they hit it, he laid down on it. Two at a time. Turn this off. 